<gasps> if, if, if. Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to the stream. But today we're putting the video you to club, and I'm joined by one of my best, one of my best friends, Eve. I'm really, and I'm really excited to to do this with her. She's gonna do some voice acting for me. I created a script for her, which like took me a while, but it, it was fine. And I'm really excited, and I really hope you enjoy her first time voice acting. Because it's because like just like everything, it's like no. There we go. There we go. Now let me undeafen and let the girl talk. Hello. Eve, Eve, Eve. Ah. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can hear you. Cool. That yes. took so too long. Da, 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 oh my god. By the way, don't use the word voice actor. I'm not a voice actor. It's just reading. All right. And to not sound because you have a lower tone voice. You said it was kind of hard. It's time to try, to try to do a high pitch voice, and since my voice is a bit higher. Oh my god, I'm so to... mad. Anyways, let's let's just start it. I'm here. I loaded the file. Let us just pick. Okay, yeah. who should we? Okay, I want you to choose which poem I read first: Monica, Yuri, Nasuki, or Sayuri. Uh, let me do any mini mini any mini mini mo. Take a tiger by the toe. If it holds, let it go. Any mini mini mo. Okay, I got Yuri. Okay, yes. <laughs> Wait. Of course. <laughs> I get to bully you for something. <laughs> you always bully me, but now tables have turned. Okay, so so for this so for this, like the for reading each of the girls' poems, I'm gonna have to be like reading. And then for after we're mm -hmm. done, E is gonna be reading some characters. So the characters I'm gonna do is of course myself and Yuri, since Yuri is my favorite. And plus oh, I have the shame is oh sorry. Oh, yeah. And also, I have a lower voice, so it's probably more easier for me to do Yuri. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> I'm gonna bully you, but the thing is, you can bully me back, so this is gonna be yeah. quite a dilemma for me. Anyways, let us do Yuri. Um, voice Yuri. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> oh, shoot. I Okay. Let's see what she's written today. Dot dot dot. Hmm. Uh this is this is pretty good, you know. You were you were you influenced by seeing everyone's writing styles yesterday? I guess you can say that. I was also a bit surprised how differently everyone writes. So I respect you for trying new things. You don't need to be afraid to be a little more daring. Metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work on your on your brain like turning a bunch of gears. Sorry. Try letting your mind wander through your feelings and write down the things that you you see and hear. That's one way to truly enable your to, truly fuck. That's one way to truly. <laughs> <laughs> so no, no word. <laughs> this is not a family friendly channel. This is this is one way to truly enable your readers to see into your mind. 
It's very, it's a very intimate exercise. Mm -hmm. I see. That's just, that's certainly interesting. That's fuck. <laughs> That's certainly interesting technique. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. I have, um, well, an example of that, if you'd like to read it. Of course. Is this like the poem we wrote for- Is this the poem we wrote for today? Yuri nods and timidly hands me her poem. Timid. Haha. <laughs> I can't read cursive. Really? No, like this, like, there, there are different types of cursive. Very, like, cursive? And then fancy cursive. I can't read fancy cursive. This happens in the dead of night. White, I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by this. What is that? By a scuttering of oh, a raccoon inside, inside my outside my window. window. It was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as the what? As an unordinary, unordinary feeling. Okay, Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, yeah. I gave I... the raccoon a piece of bread. Oh, sorry. Oh, um, you can continue. It's fine. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious well aware of the consequences. Oh, and you scrolled up and I have to... Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I zoomed in, so I have to go back up. Uh -oh. I'm aware that the raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. Continue. What? <laughs> I said continue. <laughs> Continue. Continue. What do you mean? The enticing beauty of my cutting knife. Continue. Of a cutting knife. Continue the same. <laughs> <laughs> the exciting beauty of my cutting knife was the. Was the symptom. The bread. My hungry curiosity. The raccoon. Uh. What? <laughs> just go back up. I'll just do <laughs> <laughs> The raccoon, the rage, the mood. Oh, it's rage, yeah. The mood and tight. Oh, fuck. And tights its face <laughs> and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. This is the same cutting light that, that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I saw the bread. That's unsanitary. That knife has a bunch of blood on it. Exactly. I slice the bread, fresh, fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. <laughs> on perhaps, um, yeah, or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions into a newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken, has taken to follow me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry, hungry more and more frequent, and more frequently. So my head is always. My my bread is always handy. Oops. Every time I bandage my cut knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. I rush. Yeah, I rush. I rush a blood classic, Polovian, condo conditioning. I slice the bread and feed myself, and I feed myself again. Okay. Yeah. That was the poem. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, very nice. I like the raccoon. It's a trash panda. I like trash pandas. It is a trash panda. Trash pandas are epic. Yeah, they're great. You know what else? What? Frogs are kind of punk. The frogs are punk. That's the that, frog. They're, they're froggies. Hamsters. Hamsters. Please, please. I love I want no, a hamster. No, it's not hamster. It's hamster. It's hamster. Hamster. Oh. That's the same person that, you know what, we're not going to bring this up. We were just doing an assignment, and we had ingenuity, and you kept say what, what did you keep saying? You ingenuity? Oh, you said, you said something different. Ignuity. Anyways. <laughs> exactly. Ignuity. Let me continue, Yuri. Um, um, I was in the... I was no more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more than metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a, it's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poems as a canvas to express vivid imagine, imagery, imagery, yeah, and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't 
then I can't even figure out what is what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that's different. People can relate. Like, I wanted to express the way I, the the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. A hamster. H a m p e t r. Hamster. First of all, it's spelled H a m s t r, and it's hamster. Hamster. Some people say hamps. I say ham. Ham. Hamster. Ham like on Christmas sometimes with your family. If you're like me, turkey all year round because turkey. It's hamster. Hey, but I like saying hamster. I like saying hamster. I want to call them hammy. <gasps> hammy. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait. You wanted to wind a little trap, did you? There was a trap? Yes, he said ham. Anyway, let's continue all this. He said um, what? A piece of- a piece of ham. Okay, let's continue. Okay. <laughs> you before we get into a whole spill. <laughs> it's those sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So, I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? Oh, that's- that's supposed to be my line. Oops, sometimes I, like, forget what's my line. Um, why do you keep them to yourself? But because... They're embarrassing. And people would make fun of me. You don't have anything like that. You don't have anything like that, you know? Well... Well, yeah, well, yeah, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has, <laughs> has no something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individualities. Even if it's difficult sometimes, and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. Yeah, Eve, embrace I your weirdness. Ex Eve, ex <laughs> express your weirdness. Express how weird you are. You need I that. I can't hide it. Yeah, it's you hard can. to hide. It's fine. Express it. Show the world. It's fine. If if, if they bring it, if like if they're like, oh, you suck, just like flip them off. That's it. Well, that, but that's kind of mean. It's you know, I, I can be mean. I can be mean sometimes. Yeah. I can do it. I can be. I can be mean. That's one thing I can say is I can be either really nice or I could be. I can be nightmare. Yeah, I can. I can be like the little tooth fairy, or I can be like Hulk. Anyways, um. Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's a little off. <laughs> um. Okay, cool. I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad you're a good listener. Mm -hmm. Well, I love you. Anyways, um. Ah, uh, I can. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, she was Siri. -E. What does that spell? You. Sim. For. Your. Re. Okay. S. I. M. P. What did I say? You. Sim. For. Your re and they're not even real. I don't have room to talk, but still. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Anyways, all right. All right. Sayori, Nasuki, or Monica, choose. Monica. What up, Monica? Got it. Oh, okay. All right, as it. Uh, <clears throat> I need to do any mini mini mo again, or okay, no, 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 I have to do one again. Anyways, hi, hi again. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> hi. No, sorry, that was a good joke. Yeah, hi again. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I might go. In, <laughs> I might go and defend because, like, oh no. Anyways, I can just listen to you on stream either way. Yeah. Oh. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll like take right that. Right. As long as it isn't going... Eh, fuck. As long as it... <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Uh, I am wanna... a masterpiece. <laughs> I'm a masterpiece. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want, want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I can my poem to Monica. Dot dot dot. Alright. I like this one. 
It makes me think of something Sierra you would like. Is that so? You and Sierra are really good friends, right? I would just- I would- I would- I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. Ah, uh, well. We may be good friends, but Sierra and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there's also some similar similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. And if, even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think it's a kind of vibe whenever... A vibe I get whenever reading reading your poem. You know the vibes. Yeah, we vibing, bro. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You sure? You sure you're not reading it? You're not reading into it too much. Pose the pose, the pose. Uh, I I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, your serious writing has a kind of gentle feel to it. I can I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would would enjoy sad things too. Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, yeah. well, well, to each, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. Wink, wink. Um. <laughs> uh, panic. What? <laughs> like, um, what's with the winks? Wink, Why wink. did the lady's eye go down? Wink, Why did wink. the lid close in one eye? Wink, wink. Why did you- No. Eve, wink, wink. I... Wink, no, wink, Eve. Wink, wink. wink. You just can't see me. I am winking. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I, will, I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright and beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing red, green, blue, an endless- I don't know that word. Canap- be a meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violence, grating f waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sun, cussing, targeting, like the playing of a chalkboard on a, on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. Why? An endless poem of meaningless. Load me. This lady scares me. Wait, what? Save me. <laughs> wait, what? No, no, no. The thing is, it says no. Wait, but the, it just says load me, and that just like scares me. Wait, what? It's just like I said, this lady scares me. Wait, look. Save me. Much about this game. All right. <laughs> Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless canopy of meaningless noise. Is it like a ringing? This lady scares me, that's all I know. The noise, it won't stop. Violin, grating, waveforms. Waveforms are like in like TVs and such. Wait, those are the colors. Red, green, blue. And then waveforms are also in TV. They're in like computers and stuff. Squeaking, screeching, piercing, sign, plus and like playing, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. Why on a pizza crust? An endless poem of meaningless. Pizza crust is good. Yeah. Is this poem meaningless to her? And it says, load me. Yeah, Does it like, have clues or something? No. I don't know, okay. load, load, this, this part, literally at the end, it just says, load me, and that, that sounds really suspicious. Oh, red sus? <laughs> red sus? But yeah, it's like it's like a computer. Yeah, huh. Okay. Let the Lord let the Lord I can continue. Just be entirely honest with you, because I don't know much about this game, this is a bit new for me. But yeah. I will say that this lady scares me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The other one, like the other poem, had like a nice trash panda. Yeah. This one, this one's a bit. 
Okay, let's let's go to the next poem, please. May the Lord continue. Anyway, okay. hmm, it's even more um, it, it's even more abstract than the last one, huh? <laughs> <I get that. laughs> Pardon? Are you okay? Are you okay? Yes. You fall? No. Okay. It's all my share. It's fine. I guess it's the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just, it's just a kind of thing I've never seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how I space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes me feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what's, what it's about, though. <laughs> And sometimes asking people what a poem is, is about isn't the right question. A poem can be abstract as a physical expression of a feeling, or a conversation with a reader. So putting it that way, not even poem is about something. Sometimes anyway, you'll find yourself facing a difficult here's decision. Here's writing tip of the that, day. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Huh? Huh? Can you repeat what you just said? This I think is I heard you like here's Monica's writing tip of the day. When something, when some, sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Are they supposed to be aware of the fact that they're care? Is this like a part of the thing where they know that they're characters in a video game, or I don't know. This is new. Monica's like in the last one. Did they? When I watched the video, I didn't notice anything. That showed that they understood that they were in a. Yeah, me neither. Ah, uh, sus. Red sus. Oh. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. First, the poem said, "Load me," and now they're talking about saving your game. I mean, mm -hmm. thanks for the tip, though. That was really polite of you, but still. Yeah. Always. No you never. <laughs> you never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. What is this tip even about writing? Is this- Wait, is this tip even about writing? Probably I'm, not. I mean, half the time I don't even know what I'm talking about, so that's probably what's going on here. Yeah. What am I even talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was dense. I don't <laughs> Monica and I are alike. <laughs> nice to meet you. That scared me. <laughs> that's my that's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Oh, okay. Okay, Sarah or Natsuki? Psychic. Sarah or Natsuki, which one? Which one? Um, okay, uh... Whenever I have hard decisions, there's only one thing I can do. What? Mini my name will take a dagger by the door. If I was letting go, mini my uh, Siri. Let's go. Siri! I like Siri. You mean you mind you How do I do Siri? My goodness. This is so good, you know. Eh? I love it. Especially after yesterday's poem. Uh. Ugh, oh, you're too honest sometimes, Siri. No, but really. I, I want to put this on my wall. Can I? Siri. Um. You must be serious. You must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm holding. Well... Do you like your character? Yeah. It's fairly I obvious. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Did you sneeze? <laughs> no. No, whenever, whenever they do the ha 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 or like the he he he, I just do it weird. Okay, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I'll make yeah. sure to keep it. <laughs> it's fun. Jeez. I'm sure yours opinion had a, has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Asuki's. Are you sure you just don't like it because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure it's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not like it's not just a poem. It's a you know poem. And that makes it no. feel extra special. Sorry. 
I'll make that. I won't make that joke again. <laughs> Wait, I don't. I didn't hear your joke. Mm, it was. It wasn't a good one. <laughs> you. You. Tell a joke. It was. It wasn't bad. Or anything. It was just not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I will not be repeating it. <laughs> okay. And it makes me feel extra special, so I can feel your feelings in it. Feelings. Emotions. What is that? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh, Siri, no. Siri hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so rude, Siri. <laughs> well, well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad, but that's why I, I go in by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't talking about your game, I'm sorry. I wasn't, I wasn't, sorry. I wasn't looking at something else. I was looking at something else. Sorry. Sorry. Game. Is that how you feel about me? Yeah. So, uh, I mean, um, do you want me to lie or do you want me to tell you the hard truth? The hard truth. The truth. I need the truth. I mean, I like the their hair. I like the bow. Yeah. Um, I like. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just kind of like the hair and the bow. Yeah. But, um, uh, actually, no, they're okay. Yeah, okay. Good, I can stop I'm... crying now. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you just switch so quickly. You're sad, then all of a sudden you're like, oh, okay, whatever. You sound like. Yeah. I've learned. I guess. I guess it's like acting? I don't know. I learned. Anyways, I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what right what kind of writing you're like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Ugh. Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Aw, you wanna write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. We are always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. You don't if you don't, yeah, you might love is important. Yes. Self-love is a plan, yes. Me too, right. yeah. But, like, for some people it does take a while, but, like, you always need that self-love. I love. I, yeah. love. I love myself. Sorry. Yeah, no, it's fine, it's okay, fine. It's fine. You can just randomly okay, sing. I love myself. Bam. 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 This is your time. You make a remix out of that? Yeah. You know? <laughs> if you don't, you might end up getting your- you might end up getting hurt at some point. Eh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll, but I'll keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait. Sometimes I like sad poems, too. Sometimes I think a bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah, yeah! I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Hee hee. Hee hee. What? Alright, the engine. As it came to the window, was it some window? I start moonwalking, being like, Billy Jean, not my own. Just a girl. Happy Jean. Anyways, um, happy and sad. I can't see why you like something sad, Siri. Well, I like happy the most, but sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, the sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug and make a nice, happy rainbow. Siri. That's un 
unexpectedly poetic. Huh, eh? It is? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, you know. I should go write that down then. Then I'm gonna pull now, okay? Here we go. The column of longer poems that's taken so short as time. Anyways, <clears throat> bottles. I pop off my scalp, just like the lid of a cookie jar. What? Battles. I pop off my scalp, just like a lid of a cookie jar. Tells that Yori has nice hair. How <laughs> <laughs> do you know? <laughs> It's a, it's a secret place where I, where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a fuck. Shut up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it was my phone. Uh, you, you wrote it, you typed it down. No, oh, I didn't. You have no proof. Bro. You do not have any proof. Bro. Oh. No oh. balls of sunshine, all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck out one. It's warm and tingly, but I have no time to waste. I put it in oh. the bottle- <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? No. <laughs> Oh my god, I put, in, I put it in a bottle with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. In a bottle, all in a row. My collection makes makes me lots of friends. Each bottle, a star a star light to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave. Discovering the secrets hidden in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scrapping and scrapping. I built dust off my bottle caps, and it still doesn't feel like time lapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally all done, I open up and, and in come my friends. When they come in in such a hurry, do they want my bottles that much? I frankly pull them from the shelf, one after another, holding out to each and every friend. Each and every no, this is long. Yeah, it's very long. Each and every bottle, but every time I let one go, it shatters against... It shatters the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts. That's what she said. <laughs> happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. It sharks all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends. My friends who aren't smiling. I, I think it would have been better if, if there's like happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, all and sharks all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends. My friends who aren't smiling That's anymore. <laughs> There should be smiling anymore, so floor anymore can rhyme, which could actually be pretty interesting. Oh, yeah. They're all shouting, hooting something, but all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Okay. It's because there's nothing here to haul to make it less hollow. I think that, yes, so in this poem, <laughs> in this poem, oh my god. <laughs> in this poem, it's talking about like, like happiness and, and then it being. I don't know what that is. Can you tell me what that means? Oh. It, what does that mean? Eve. Oh wait, I remember. It means you know. Oh, pick a plate. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, I don't know if you can. No, you can't see me. But I'm doing that Chad thing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, ow, my tongue. I bit my tongue. <laughs> Karma. Anyways, in this poem, it's about like happy thoughts, and then. Putting it in the jar and then giving it to the friends, and then it shatters between their feet, and trying and then trying to keep their happy thoughts. Happiness. That's nice. Yeah. That's, That's a, a nice poem. Holy like crap, Siri! Did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, but I mean, I didn't expect anything like this coming from you. Monica, well, that's kind of mean. <laughs> Roasted! Shit! Okay, 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 I rather people have lower expectations than really high expectations, because then I feel really bad when I don't meet them. Oh, yeah. That's so, so. Don't, like, make people disappointed. Like, 
I learned to just not care anymore. Monica taught me a whole lot, and I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It almost seems kind of creepy. Creepy? I'm seeing chat you. You know I can see chat. <laughs> <laughs> Booty cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, and you should be proud of it. Aw, thanks! I feel like- I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You got pretty passionate about this, huh? <laughs> my god. I hope you keep it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Sarah always had a bit of a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it. No time, then a week later. What did that bot say? E. E. D. No one? Oh, D. Die in German. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I know how to say something, I believe, in Russian. Oh, what is it? But it's not good. Okay, I'm that's all. Okay. From a song. And here's what it means. I'll put it in chat. Oh my god. Please don't give me CLS. I learned it from a song. That's oh. Song okay. Anyways, I wonder if it's one of those times, but seeing the passion in your eyes makes it hard to, for me to be. Pasmetic. Oh, that's what I said. Oh my god, Nasuki! Oh my god, I did not have much points. It'd be funny if I just made the same in Russian. No. Yeah. Oh my god. Boom base. Oh my god. Rosna Soka. See? That, I said it right. That's what that- that's the word. Yeah, Yuna. I said hi to you in Russian. Hi. Um, Hello. Hello. My armpits are sweaty. Not gonna lie, so <laughs> my... <laughs> it's really hot over here. Yeah. Anyway, so I go to Nasuki and be like, hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna cringe so okay. hard. I'm gonna cringe so hard at this. Well, I can admit, it's better than the last one. It's nice to see that you're putting in some effort. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Hey, don't say the Lord's <laughs> name in vain. Alright, um... Oh... My... Bubblegum. Bubblegum, yeah, oh my bubblegum. That's good. Come think of it, this kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Jesus Christ. Uh, you think so? Yeah, well, I guess you've been friends for so with her for so long, you might be on the Wait, same who, wavelength. Wait, who are you voicing? Nasuki. Oh, no. Yeah. That's why I'm- I can't. That's why I'm high pitched. Anyways. <laughs> well, you never really struck me as her type. Missouri has a type all of a sudden? Well, I don't know, but honestly, how could someone so er fluffy spend time with someone like you? Is that like she's dragging around a dead it's like she's dragging you around a dead weight? Uh that was a little hey. unnecessary. Like, Why question, are you being so mean? Like if she's if that girl said that's actually me, I would spike her. Not gonna lie, I would. I would too. And yeah. Here's the thing. I don't usually get too physically violent unless I'm really upset. But still, just few, we'll forget the few occasions that it's happened. But this is a type of person I would not hesitate to slap across the face. Yeah. I'd actually enjoy, I would enjoy doing that. The uh, sound of my palm colliding with just their face. Or I mean, I'd rather smack her or roast her. I'm better at the talking part and you're better at the physical violence. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> but th but think of it this way: if it weren't for me, she would she would probably just fly away, like letting go of a balloon. You could say that we need each other, we need to take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. 
I feel like she likes him. Yeah, it's very- like I said, it's a Tuesday. Of course, a Tuesday, like, bees mean to her love- like, who she likes. So, oh. the person she likes will like them back, which is really weird. Yeah. Ow. Oh. Well, yeah, I guess I supposed to sh I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem here. Oh my god. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Spill the tea, sis? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wiggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a huge singing voice. I heard her singing my singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus. I really like a love song, baby. I, I love you like a love song, baby. I don't know what to do. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus of her heart was pounding to the rhythm of the words, but she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Wow, that's mean. One time I hurt my leg real bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I try not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Jesus Christ, that's mean. Amy has a lot of friends. Always here talking to me. What are you saying? What are you saying? I said she's really annoying. I kind of want to hit her. Yeah. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. But if her friends start to like spiders too, that's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter. If she has other hobbies, it doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she hurts anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off with us without spider lovers. Jesus Christ. And I'm gonna tell everyone. Jesus Christ. So this, I feel like the poems tell a lot about like the characters and how they are as people. Like, you saw how, like, with Sayori, how their poem was about happiness and it was more positive. Yeah. I feel like more of a positive person. When you saw Monica's, it was kind of creepy, and I feel like that's kind of, um, what's that word again? Foreshadowing something. Maybe. But, and then yours, and yours is more, like, deep and mysterious, which is how she is. Yeah, but then this is annoying, mean, and very much Miss Nasuki. My god, Nasuki. Yeah. I know I hated you before, and I hate you now. Not bad, right? Yeah. It's hard to hate. But I dislike the way that they are treating this individual. Yeah. It's quite a bit longer than... Oh my god. <laughs> it's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was, was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think it was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is... Kind of yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I, I can, like, no. like, cover that in the ball, and I can just, like, like Michael P. Jordan in it, too. Like, the fucking trash can, and be like, that yeast. But, <clears throat> like, Kobe, that's. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. But it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Jesus Christ. Like, like anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an, is an ignorant jerk. Oh, she's talking to- she made up a character in the poem that's a jerk. To <gasps> Amy. Barely know them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, it's understandable. Sometimes you can tell when people are, you know. Yeah. But in this scenario, I think that you should have waited a bit. Yeah. For generalizing how you thought about them, but okay. Do you know the people best uh, Yeah. Of course, it's about how everything's my. That doesn't matter. It can be about anything. I want it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pleasure. Pleasure. Some, something you're afraid for people. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a voice crack later. 
If something you're afraid of people find out, they'll make fun of you or think less of you. But that makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy? I agree. You're like, what? Oh, no, okay. I get it. I understand. You shouldn't judge people's uh, hobbies, I guess, without fully getting to know it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I understand more. See, now I made the same mistake and I didn't listen properly. And I formed an opinion. Like, okay, why am I. Okay, let's just play the game. <laughs> I think people really need to learn to expect others for liking weird things. Huh? That's funny. You're with the girl about something similar to that. Huh? Did you say Yuri? Yeah. She said her poem was about an unusual hobby of hers. I don't really get it, but she said something similar to you. That people shouldn't make each other feel insecure about those things. Really? Well... Is she like Yuri? Please, please, please. I mean... Be a oh my god. Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! With your girl. Yes! I mean... I mean like, no! No! <laughs> That's what I thought. That's fine. I mean, yours pretty weird, so I wouldn't doubt that she has some weird hobbies. Bro. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh. It's not like I would judge her or anything. Asuki has trouble finding words. I guess I should try not to be me so mean to her. Like, she feels insecure about her weird behaviors and stuff. I mean, I would hate people who find me, who, who make me feel insecure. And you already made me feel insecure yesterday. But. The way you put it, it sounds like she's learning her lesson. Well, I would say so. Even if her, even if her writing style is very, it's really different. I'm no, just... it's slowing down inside. What? <gasps> I'm sure she'll appreciate the message in your poem. That's what I do best, after all. I don't like writing unless it's a good message to take away from it. Like conveying emotions is important. But I, but I want to make people think, just not feel. Remember that. I'm not gonna write one good one for tomorrow, too, so look forward for it. Eve. It's now it's your time. <gasps> oh no. Yes. I could finally sit back and relax. Oh. <sighs> Get the dock out. Get the dog out. Just left the chat. <laughs> I'm dying. But okay, let's do this. Okay, got this. Okay. Okay, everyone. Are we all done reading each other's poems? We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I'm dying right now. Sure. I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit in the front of the room. Is it about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh. Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. <laughs> I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters, and I've designed some pan flips we can do give out during the event. I stuttered. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Keep going. You're doing great. It's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? Uh, <laughs> um, Monica? Yeah, we're going to have a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, is we're going to let anyone else come out and recite a poem too. Sierra's putting it all in the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> you can't, you have to do that. <laughs> but I got one, I got one. <laughs> okay. You probably gave ear rape to many people. Anyways. What's the uh, ha, ha. Oh my god. Sierra, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. What? Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't. You didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Uh, 
Well, I did. You really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no, it's not a bad idea. Uh, I didn't sign up for this, you know? Hey, I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. Uh, I agree with Nasuki. <laughs> I could never in my life do something like that. Imagine it. Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys! No, oh, Sayori, I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Nasuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that, so I'm sorry. Dot dot dot. But, I still think that we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for our fate of this club. The event is not a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And more people will perform. Or the more people will perform. My apologies. It's okay. Just keep going. It's fine. <laughs> the better we'll be able to show everyone what Literature Club is all about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> all about expressing your feelings. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, don't apologize. Don't apologize. You're doing good. Don't apologize. You're doing good. Awesome. All right having fun that's right and it's those reasons that we're all in this club today so it's about expressing your feelings being intimate with yourself that wasn't in my script oh shoot oh okay finding new horizons and having some fun okay now you do that's right right yeah okay go 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 not the part about it's about expressing your feelings being, that's oh, being right. intimate Oh, that's, my bad. that's the reason that's we're in this club today. You don't want to share it. Don't you want to share that with others? I share that with others. Yes, I yeah. see it. Yeah. No, go. Go. Inspire them to find the same feelings that you brought here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if it take, oh, if all it takes is standing in front of a room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Woo! Dot, 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 dot. Nasuki and Yuri remain silent. Sherry looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Yuri, I think Sayuri and Monica are really trying really hard to get new members. It's the least we can, the least we can do is help them out a little bit. Oh, maybe, but... But... <laughs> <laughs> I could have kept silent. Did I yeah. <laughs> It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Okay, fine. Because I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright! Phew! Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? What is that? Yuri dejects- Damn it! <laughs> Yuri dejects dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expected faces. Sigh. <laughs> I- I guess... I don't really have a choice. Ha! That's every- uh, <laughs> Did you just- <laughs> Sorry! Did you just hear my voice? <laughs> Sorry. I am- I am keeping that in. I am keeping that in. You're the best you Sorry. It's okay, just don't say sorry, you're doing good. Continue. I say sorry for everything, I'm a Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Uh -huh, that's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. <laughs> I forgot how to do Sayori's voice. It's alright. Okay. Oh, it's my turn. This club, <laughs> okay. this club is seriously gonna be the death of me. Okay, sorry. It's okay. Stop apologizing. <laughs> oh wait, where are we at? I'm sorry, I looked away for a second. Monica. Oh gosh. Uh, oh, oh gosh. <laughs> You'll be sorry. But anyways, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. N no, no way. Monica, this, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of... Oh, how do you expect to do it in... Oh, my bad, sorry. It's fine. Stop apologizing, or else... No. I can't. Sorry, I keep saying Eve, sorry. Eve, Eve. 
Why? <laughs> no sorries. <Just> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I mean, I mean, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking now. Uh-oh. Don't worry. Don't worry. Sorry. Okay, go. go. Don't worry, I'll start off- oh wait. Yeah, go. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Sorry. can I go- oh, sorry, I said Sierra out loud. It's okay. Can I go next? Ah, of course! Now let's <gasps> see. Monica flips too hard. You guys in UWU. This is an Ulu. You failure. <laughs> Monica flips through her notebook to a specific photo she has in mind for herself. Then she stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. <clears throat> Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than her... More than that, more than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind the line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is it something she's done before, or is it simply a natural, or simply a natural? I glance around, around. I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sari looks amazed. Yuri has intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finished the. How do I say that? How do I say that? Finally, Monica finish. Finally, Monica finishes uh, the rotation. Rotation. We'll do rotation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. <laughs> I'm smiling. <laughs> that was so good, Monica. Clap. <laughs> Thank you very much. I can't. Ah, uh, the switching the voices. I was just hoping to set a good example. You ready to go next, Sayori? Uh, I'll go next. Wah! Yuri fired up all of a sudden. <laughs> oh god. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> that was good. My confidence is so low. That was good. You did great. You did great. You did great. Let me give Thanks, you my- <laughs> Let me give you my support and affection. Give support <laughs> affection. Okay, yeah. let's go. Yuri clutches a, a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quietly over to the podium. This poem is called. Yuri anxiously glances at, at each of us. You can do it, Yuri! Huh? <laughs> it's, your, it's your line. You can do it, Yuri. Oh, I guess it's like, You can do it, Yuri. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, it's okay. <laughs> it's called. <laughs> it, it's called after image of a crimson eye. Yuri's voice. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practiced refusing to do this. Why she? Why? Why she suddenly putting in so much effort? Yuri gets past the first couple of lines. Her voice changes. It's almost like what happened when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into a sharp into sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns of the structures that she enthusiates with perfect timing. She must be a rare glimpse of the whirling fire Yuri keeps con concealed inside of her. Suddenly she finishes. She finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her, as if she as if she bewildered even herself. I. It's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Clap. Wow. Everyone joins me afterwards, and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not like we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds, holds her palm to her chest and rushes back <laughs> into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. It looks like Yuri is down of the for the count. Okay. I guess I'm next then. Zuri so, so hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> it's okay, continue. <laughs> 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 
Okay. Siri. <laughs> Siri. It's a lot harder. It's a lot harder than I thought. Uh-huh. Sorry, <laughs> my, my mic cut out. I'm sorry. It's a lot harder than I thought. How do you guys do it so easily? Uh, try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, in the mirror, or in your head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best way. <laughs> come out. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see, I see. Okay, then. Ah. Sorry. It's okay. Sarah begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem is, a, is an aimless cheer. Is an aimless cheer. Cheery. Uh, it's like serious. It's, see, it's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I will probably think much of it. But hearing it come from Sierra's voice only gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe it is what Sierra meant for what she... What... What she said, she likes my poems. It's like I get a reach of more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. So he finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Siri. <laughs> Even Yuri liked it. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm fine. Sorry. Okay, go. Continue. <laughs> okay. Uh, I said I guess that's a good sign. Oh, I didn't hear you. Sorry. Yeah. What does that even mean? Came out nicely, Sayori. Came out. The atmosphere of the balloon fits you really nicely. But, huh? What? I thought you said. So. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely, but it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Uh, I really don't understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't have worked or wouldn't work as well. My bad. It's okay. Might need a little bit more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's oh, oh no! What did I do? <laughs> That's well. I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone, like me doing this on a stream. <laughs> 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 next time, oh my bad. The next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little bit more, or a little more. Sorry, we don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Oh, jeez. I sound like my little sibling. Oh, who's next? Natsuki. Ugh. I said... You know? It's not my turn. You know? It, no, it is. I'm not saying- I swear I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I can't make it fine. It goes Don't make now. me go for you, you know? It's not like I can compare you guys, anyway. Might as well let you know lower everyone's standards a little bit before I have to- You're so mean! Yeah, uh... Suki! It's fine- oh, my bad. It's okay. It's fine, it's fine. I may as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I, what I wrote for today. I stand up and step up in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me. All eyes on me. Anyways, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about what you lack in confidence in your writing. That's something that'll, pr that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Right then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Is it Natsuki or Natsuki? Natsuki. Natsuki. Got it. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Natsuki? What is this word? Begrudgingly. 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 
gets out of her seat, begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. This poem is called. It's called. Why are you looking at me? It's because you're presenting. <laughs> Don't be. <Anyways. laughs> Anyways, this poem is called Jump. Alright, Nasuki Nasuki takes a breath. When she starts reciting her poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's a little un enthusiast, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Nasuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down as if it's giving life to the poem. Nasuki finishes and everyone applauds. She hops back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Oh, uh, well... Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put it on whatever- I can put on whatever face I want for those people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. Surprise, mm -hmm. Suki. <laughs> I think it would be- <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just not how it- Oh, my bad. Well, that's just how it is, so... Uh, well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you got- Oh, sorry. I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure to pick your poem- or pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pan flips, so just let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez, I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. I can't do- you know what? I have an idea. One second. Oh, not the pot. Please, not the pot. Please, not the pot. Please. Please, not the pot. Please, no. Please, not the pot. That's fine too. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm good. I got it. Okay. Oh, wait, where am I? Oh, yeah. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you ruined the word pleasant for me. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you all are putting in this much effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Oh, can you tell me how that feels? Okay, continue. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, do you want to like talk later? <laughs> no, like if you want to talk later, I, I can talk. I mean, if I'm still able to talk after, like the rest, like there's like 16 more pages. There's 16 pages of this. What page are you on? Run seven. Oh, jeez, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's if I'm still able to. I'll just use my bot to talk. Because if they're you can get water now. I can just wait until you get water. It's okay. I'm I'm a trooper. Go get water, man. Go get water. Say you're lying. What do you mean? You're lying. Oh. Uh, um, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. Oh, I managed to make a high voice. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. I think that's I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out. Oh, it's been working out really nice so far. So I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll be finishing. I have so much saliva in my mouth right now. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like Niagara Falls. Okay. <laughs> so I. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you, just see, you, just see, you just see saliva coming out, like water speaking, like <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank <laughs> God, it's ready. It's been working out nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll be finishing planning. We will finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday, the big or Monday's the big day. Okay. Can't wait. Such a sweetheart. I'm starting to. Um, yeah. Yeah. I. I can do this. I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Yuri and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through this. 
if it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Siri? Yep. <laughs> Look at you two. Always going home together like that. Kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> These guys. That was such a big deal out of it. <gasps> Jeez, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Mom. You don't know what it's like. It's not a face. <laughs> <laughs> it must be an L nice, though. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, you know, you don't have to say it. Whatever, let's go already. I walk hey. over to Yuri once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Siri has been a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Siri. Sorry, I was spacing out. That sounds like my life story. Oh. I don't know. I can never- I'm always spacing out sometimes. Yeah. Just... Ah, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. How we get to- I mean- Siri fumbles with their words. So, so, uh, let's just say one day. Yuri. Jerry, oh my bad. Yes! Let's just say one day Yuri asked to walk home with you. Uh huh. What, what would you do? Oh, I try to, I can't do this. What kind, of, <laughs> <laughs> what kind of question is that? You're kind of you're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> okay, just just count my laugh as Yuri's laugh. <laughs> just <laughs> Well, I would walk home with Yuri, or I would walk home with Sa- I would walk home with Yuri, or I would walk home with Yuri. You gotta choose one. Um... Yuri or Sayuri? Yuri! Hmm? You like Yuri? Yeah, screw up to Yuri. Sorry, Siri. I love you, but I love Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go mute for a second while I- <laughs> <laughs> It's so harsh. It's too harsh. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love that. Walking home with Yuri, huh? Why is this? Why does? Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I'll feel awful. I'll feel awful turning her down. So. Oh, um. Yeah. Isn't she so beautiful and smart? Wee wee wee. Ah, uh, sorry. Okay. I don't think I have it. Because you chose an option, the script might change. Oh, right, yeah. Okay, so I'll do that. Um, isn't she so beautiful and smart? That's nothing to do with what I just said. <laughs> you admitted it. Jeez. There's not even any point in speculation, something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. It's not long before you 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 would you wouldn't you won't need me anymore. You know, if if there's like one line in the if there's any one line that I'm saying in the script, then you can continue. I'll continue. Yeah. Okay. Need you? Sorry, I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is the replacement for you. Hmm. If you say so. The conversation trails off and I'm left feeling awkward. But it was kind of her to fell for for trapping me with such a weird question. I can't just lie to her. You know there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I say there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? <laughs> Don't judge others' opinion. Don't see eye to eye. If I do something wrong, 
than a genuinely apologize. <laughs> Don't like confrontation, but best to be classy. I like to be polite. No one else with that. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, but oh. Uh, don't get it twisted. Because if I need to throw hands, I can put up a good fight. Okay. That's the last resort. I'm good with my words. Since I was young and kept my vocabulary wide. <laughs> Despite not having the voice to put it white. Others' mind and knowledge. Which is full of promise of ideas. That's a little bit of polish could be used for smartering the humans evolving. <laughs> hey, I don't want to be full of myself, but in this case, did I really lie? To be honest, I'm probably the nicer one of the Gemini's, although I'm, I'm too, like in the sky. I'm a star. Yeah. I want to create peace, unity, love, people. Strive, <laughs> 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 Yeah. 